hi, you must be new. Let me introduce myself. I'm Stacy. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. My name is Chris. Which department do you work in, Stacy? I work in purchasing. Where do you work? I work on the customer service team. Oh yes. Who do you work for? I work for Robert. He's the head. And you? I work for Kiko. How long have you worked here, Chris? I've worked here for two days. How long have you worked here, Stacy? I've worked here for six years. Welcome to the company, Chris. Oh hi, you must be new. Let me introduce myself. I'm Stacy. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. My name is Chris. Which department do you work in, Stacy? I work in purchasing. Where do you work? I work on the customer service team. Oh yes, who do you work for? I work for Robert. He's the head. And you? I work for Kiko. How long have you worked here, Chris? I've worked here for two days. How long have you worked here, Stacy? I've worked here for six years. Welcome to the company, Chris. Let me introduce myself. My name is You can call me What's your name? Nice to meet you. How do you do? Here's my card. Where do you work? I work at... What do you do? I am an engineer. I work in the finance department. How long have you worked there? I have worked there for seven years.
Chris. Hi. On behalf of the team, we'd like to welcome you to Olympic Sporting Goods. I'd like to introduce you to the people you'll be working with every day. This is Sue. She's in shipping. Nice to meet you, Sue. This is Daniel. He'll be your contact in quality control. How do you do? Oh, and I can't forget Kevin. He's head of our engineering team. Pleasure to meet you. Here's Renee in purchasing. I'm looking forward to working with you, Renee. Okay. I think that's everyone for now. Stacy couldn't make it today. You'll be working closely with her in customer service. Hi. On behalf of the team, we'd like to welcome you to Olympic Sporting Goods. I'd like to introduce you to the people you'll be working with every day. This is Sue. She's in shipping. Nice to meet you, Sue. This is Daniel. He'll be your contact in quality control. How do you do? Oh, and I can't forget Kevin. He's head of our engineering team. Pleasure to meet you. Here's Renee in purchasing. I'm looking forward to working with you, Renee. I'd like to introduce you to This is It's a pleasure to meet you. Here's Renee in purchasing. I'm looking forward to working with you. Chris, please meet Steve. Pleased to meet you. I work for the Olympic Sports Company. Olympic manufactures sports equipment. Our company is headquartered in San Diego. The Olympic Sports Company has 20,000 employees worldwide. We sell sports equipment to distributors worldwide. The Olympic Sports Company is in the manufacturing industry. The company was founded in 1968. The company has operations in 10 countries in North and South America. I work for the Olympic Sports Company. Olympic manufactures sports equipment.
Our company is headquartered in San Diego. The Olympic Sports Company has 20,000 employees worldwide. We sell sports equipment to distributors worldwide. The Olympic Sports Company is in the manufacturing industry. The company was founded in 1968. What company do you work for? I work for the Olympic Sports Company. What does your company do? Olympic manufactures sports equipment. Where is your company headquartered? Our company is headquartered in San Diego. How many employees does your company have? The Olympic Sports Company has 20,000 employees worldwide. What does your company sell? We sell sports equipment to distributors worldwide. When was your company founded? The company was founded in 1968. How do you like working here so far, Chris? I really like it. I'm lucky to have such a good boss. There's a lot to learn, but my coworkers are really helping me. Super! Where did you work before coming to Olympic? I worked for Omega for two years. What did you do there? I was also a customer service rep. I really enjoyed that job, too. Why did you decide to come to Olympic? When I was offered the job here, I jumped on it. Since Olympic is an international company, I have more opportunities here, and I have a chance to speak English. Where did you learn English? I learned it at college. My first degree is an English degree. Oh, where did you go to college? I went to Keller University. When did you graduate? I graduated three years ago. Where were you born? I was born in Ohio and went to high school there, but graduated from college in New York. Oh, what an interesting history you have. Where did you work before coming to Olympic? I worked for Omega for two years. What did you do there? I was also a customer service rep. I really enjoyed that job, too. Why did you decide to come to Olympic?
When I was offered the job here, I jumped on it. Since Olympic is an international company, I have more opportunities here. And I have a chance to speak English. Where did you work before coming to Olympic? I worked for Omega for two years. What did you do there? I was also a customer service rep. How long did you work there? I worked there for three years. Why did you leave? I found a better opportunity. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? So sorry. What did you say? So, are you saying that? Do you mean? I'm sorry. I'm not sure if I understand what you mean. What does that mean exactly? I didn't catch that. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? So sorry. What did you say? I'm sorry. I'm not sure if I understand what you mean. What does that mean exactly? I didn't catch that. One more time. How was your visit to... Did you enjoy your trip too?
What did you think of? What are your thoughts on our proposal? Do you feel that we've met your needs? I'd like to hear your views on our operations. Are you satisfied with your experience here? Excuse me, may I make a comment? I think that it's a good idea. I'm not so sure. I couldn't agree more. Wouldn't you agree with me? I have an idea. Why don't we just give it a try? From my point of view, our work is done. I'm certain that it will work. I would say that we've gotten off track. It seems to me that we need more information before we can make a decision. May I make a suggestion? I suggest that we open a store there. That's an interesting suggestion. Let's think about it. It seems to me that we could open a store there. Let's discuss it further. I have a suggestion. Let's open a store there. I understand your point of view, but you're missing some facts. Here's an idea. Why don't we open a store there? That's a great idea. Let's do it. Hello and welcome again, Mr. Plassat, to the global headquarters of Olympic Sporting Goods. We're very pleased to have you here in San Diego to meet our team in person and see us in action. Our goal in the next half hour is to give you a little more detailed look at our company.
Please don't hesitate to stop me at any time if you have any questions. Our corporate mission is to design, develop, and sell superior sporting goods equipment to retailers and resellers around the world. We were founded in 1947 to provide helmets for the American football industry. Since then, we have grown steadily and now have 615 employees and sales revenues in 2011 of U.S. $750 million. Our headquarters is right here in San Diego, California, and our global manufacturing is done at our facility in Dogen City, China. Our current CEO, Craig Chandler, has been at our helm for over 10 years. We currently market 85 products under our three brand names, Premier, Choice, and Extreme. I think you'll find that Olympic Sporting Goods is a solid mid-sized company. We look forward to a long relationship with you. Any questions? Our goal in the next half hour is to give you a little more detailed look at our company. Please don't hesitate to stop me at any time if you have any questions. Our corporate mission is to design, develop, and sell superior sporting goods equipment to retailers and resellers around the world. Our corporate mission is to design, develop, and sell superior sporting goods equipment to retailers and resellers around the world. We were founded in 1947 to provide helmets for the American football industry. Since then, we have grown steadily and now have 615 employees and sales revenues in 2011 of U.S. $750 million. Since then, we have grown steadily and now have 615 employees and sales revenues in 2011 of U.S. $750 million. Our headquarters is right here in San Diego, California, and our global manufacturing is done at our facility in Dogen City, China. Our current CEO, Craig Chandler, has been at our helm for over 10 years. We currently market 85 products under our three brand names, Premier, Choice, and Extreme. I think you'll find that Olympic Sporting Goods is a solid mid-sized company. We look forward to a long relationship with you. Our goal in the next half hour is to give you a little more detailed look at our company. Please don't hesitate to stop me at any time if you have any questions. Our corporate mission is to design, develop, and sell superior sporting goods equipment to retailers and resellers around the world. We were founded in 1947 to provide helmets for the American football industry. Since then, we have grown steadily and now have 615 employees and sales revenues in 2011 of U.S. $750 million. Our headquarters is right here in San Diego, California. And our global manufacturing is done at our facility in Dogen City, China. Our current CEO, Craig Chandler, has been at our helm for over 10 years.
We currently market 85 products under our three brand names, Premier, Choice, and Extreme. I think you'll find that Olympic Sporting Goods is a solid mid-sized company. We look forward to a long relationship with you. Any questions? In the next 30 minutes, I'd like to introduce you to the services Premier Staffing offers and find out more about the staffing needs of Tatra Communications. Before I leave today, I'd like us to define how Premier Staffing may be able to help you. As you can see from my first slide, Premier Staffing is the second largest provider of temporary and contract staffing in Europe. We've worked with some of the largest European corporations, and we're a gold member of the European Human Resources Management Association. As one of the largest providers of staffing in Europe, we offer a full range of services to uniquely meet the needs of each of our clients. From this slide, you can see that in addition to contract temporary employees, we can help you with contract to permanent staffing, as well as handle management executive recruiting for you. Each of our employees undergoes a skill assessment and a complete background check. We can assure you the staff we send you will be well qualified and ready to work. We have placed staff with skill sets for almost every department within a company from executive to call center, in finance, payroll, accounting, project management, as well as software and hardware engineering. One of the biggest benefits to you in contracting with Premier is that we take care of all the details for employing our staff, payroll, healthcare, and insurance. You can focus attention on your work. In the next 30 minutes, I'd like to introduce you to the services Premier Staffing offers and find out more about the staffing needs of Tatra Communications. Before I leave today, I'd like us to define how Premier Staffing may be able to help you. As you can see from my first slide, Premier Staffing is the second largest provider of temporary and contract staffing in Europe. We've worked with some of the largest European corporations, and we're a gold member of the European Human Resources Management Association. As one of the largest providers of staffing in Europe, we offer a full range of services to uniquely meet the needs of each of our clients. From this slide, you can see that in addition to contract temporary employees, we can help you with contract to permanent staffing, as well as handle management executive recruiting for you. Each of our employees undergoes a skill assessment and a complete background check. We can assure you the staff we send you will be well qualified and ready to work. We have placed staff with skill sets for almost every department within a company, from executive to call center. In finance, payroll, accounting, project management, as well as software and hardware engineering. One of the biggest benefits to you in contracting with Premier is that we take care of all the details for employing our staff. I'd like to introduce you to the services Premier Staffing offers and find out more about the staffing needs of Tatra Communications.
Before I leave today, I'd like us to define how Premier Staffing may be able to help you. As you can see from my first slide, Premier Staffing is the second largest provider of temporary and contract staffing in Europe. We offer a full range of services to uniquely meet the needs of each of our clients. One of the biggest benefits to you in contracting with Premier is that we take care of all the details for employing our staff, payroll, healthcare, and insurance. You can focus attention on your work. Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. May I help you? Could I speak to Mike in accounting? Could you connect me to your billing department? Extension 555, please. I appreciate your help. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. May I help you? Could I speak to Mike in accounting? Could you connect me to your billing department? Extension 555, please. I appreciate your help. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Could I speak to Mike in accounting? Could you connect me to your billing department? Extension 555, please. I appreciate your help. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Good morning. This is Chris. Can I help you? How may I help you today? Thank you for your time. Good afternoon. Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. Can I help you? Yes, please. This is Jane at IT Solutions, and I'd like to speak to Joe Jacobson. I'm sorry, but you've reached the wrong department. I can connect you with IT. I'll transfer your call now. Please hold. Hi, Joe. Chris here. I've got a call from Jane at IT Solutions. Can I put her through? Yes, sure. Thanks, Chris. Jane, 
I have Joe on the line, and I'll connect you now. If you get disconnected, Joe's direct line is 987-7766. Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods, Chris speaking. Can I help you? Yes, please. This is Jane at IT Solutions. And I'd like to speak to Joe Jacobson. I'm sorry, but you've reached the wrong department. I can connect you with IT. I'll transfer your call now. Please hold. Hi, Joe. Chris here. I've got a call from Jane at IT Solutions. Can I put her through? Yes, sure. Thanks, Chris. Jane, I have Joe on the line, and I'll connect you now. If you get disconnected, Joe's direct line is 987-7766. Can I help you? Yes, please. This is Jane at IT Solutions. And I'd like to speak to Joe Jacobson. I'm sorry, but you've reached the wrong department. I can connect you with IT. I'll transfer your call now. Please hold. I've got a call from Jane at IT Solutions. Can I put her through? Jane, I have Joe on the line. And I'll connect you now. If you get disconnected, Joe's direct line is 987-7766. Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello. This isn't the Porsche dealership? No, I'm sorry, but you have the wrong number. Sorry to trouble you. No trouble at all. Is this the dealership? Isn't this the dealership? Sorry to bother you.
Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello. This isn't the Porsche dealership? No, I'm sorry, but you have the wrong number. Sorry to trouble you. No trouble at all. How may I help you? This isn't the Porsche dealership? No, I'm sorry, but you have the wrong number. Sorry to trouble you. No trouble at all. Is this the dealership? Isn't this the dealership? Sorry to bother you. Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. Oh, hello. May I speak to Steve Anderson, please? I'm sorry, but he's out of the office today. May I take a message and have him call you? Yes. Please have him call Mark Stucker. Certainly, Mr. Stucker. Could you please spell your last name? S-T-U-C-K-E-R. And what company are you with? Stucker Wholesale. Does he have your number, or may I take it for him? He's got my old number. You'd better give him my new number. 858-444-3318. May I repeat that back to you? That was 858-444-3318. That's right. And what may I say it's concerning? I'd like to invite him to our annual charity golf outing. Yes, I'll give him the message, Mr. Stucker, as soon as he's back in the office. Thank you. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. Oh, hello. May I speak to Steve Anderson, please? I'm sorry, but he's out of the office today. May I take a message and have him call you? Yes, please have him call Mark Stucker. Certainly, Mr. Stucker. Could you please spell your last name? S-T-U-C-K-E-R. And what company are you with? Stucker Wholesale. Does he have your number or may I take it for him?
He's got my old number. You'd better give him my new number. 858-444-3318. May I repeat that back to you? That was 858-444-3318. That's right. And what may I say it's concerning? I'd like to invite him to our annual charity golf outing. Yes, I'll give him the message, Mr. Stucker, as soon as he's back in the office. Thank you. Goodbye. May I speak to Kevin Drew, please? I'm sorry, but he's out of the office today. May I take a message? Please have him call Danielle Smith. Could you please spell your last name? What company are you with? May I take your number? May I repeat that back to you? That was 858-4444. What may I say it's concerning? I'll give him the message. Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. How may I help you? This is Mr. Plasat's assistant. I'd like to go over the details of his upcoming visit with you. When will he be arriving? He will be arriving at the San Diego airport on the 3rd, in the evening. What time does he arrive? His flight arrives at 7.25 p.m., how long will he stay with us? He is scheduled to depart on the 5th, on the noon flight. Where will he stay? He's booked to stay at the Marriott, downtown. Okay, what would he like to do while he's here? He would like a tour of your facilities, if it's not too inconvenient. No problem at all. I'll arrange it for him. Is there anything else I can do for you right now? No, I think that's all for now. Thank you. Good afternoon, Olympic Sporting Goods. Chris speaking. How may I help you? This is Mr. Plasat's assistant. I'd like to go over the details of his upcoming visit with you. When will he be arriving? He will be arriving at the San Diego airport on the 3rd, in the evening. What time does he arrive?
His flight arrives at 7.25 p.m. How long will he stay with us? He is scheduled to depart on the 5th, on the noon flight. Where will he stay? He's booked to stay at the Marriott, downtown. Okay, what would he like to do while he's here? He would like a tour of your facilities, if it's not too inconvenient. No problem at all. I'll arrange it for him. How will you come? I will come by plane. When do you arrive? I arrive on Tuesday, March 23rd. What time will you arrive? I'll arrive at 3.30 p.m. Who will be joining you? My partner will be joining me. What would you like to do while you are here? I would like a tour. Where will you stay? I will stay at the hotel. How long will you be staying? I'll be staying for seven days and six nights. When do you leave? I leave on March 30th.